Okay, here we are back again with another uh, World of Trucks live event. It's the Happy Halloween. So far, we have no progress, of course. Using external contracts, World of Trucks Connected Profile, Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, or both. Community goals achieve 1,300,000 deliveries of Halloween treats cargo from any city in any trucking territory. When the player completes 13 deliveries of Halloween treats cargo across any trucking territories in either game, oh, in, uh, uh, what? In either game, it will complete their personal goal. Your rewards. Personal players get a that complete 13 or more deliveries Halloween treats cargo will gain a unique World of Trucks achievement as well as a spooky booing ghost cabin item as a steam inventory item for Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator. When the community commit uh, when the community goal of achieving 1 million three hundred thousand deliveries and Halloween treats cargo from any city is met the players also achieve their personal goal they will receive a grumpy ghost hanging toy as a steam inventory item uh, yeah you yeah, can complete that it's over the 17th of November at 2359 UTC whatever that is universal time Central something. So there it is. Happy Halloween. And we're going to do this. Jumping back and forth between American Truck and Euro Truck Simulator 2. So right now, we have a load of Halloween treats going from Fort Smith, Arkansas to Texarkana, Arkansas. We have almost 15 hours to complete the standard and $12,311. Let's click on there. It's a 149 mile trip, three and a hours and 22 minutes. So if it's say three and a half hours, it's currently what 11:25 in the morning, Central Daylight Time. That never changes, by the way. When daylight savings time ends, this will still read daylight saving or daylight time. We're going for Fort Smith at Eco's Power Transport to Texarkana Page and Price Paper. It's uh, thirty-nine thousand, almost ten tons. No, twenty tons of Halloween treats. Standard delivery. Not much else to say. So let's uh, resume our delivery. We're all hooked up and ready to go. And let's go here. So we can see we got our new paint job for the Cruising Arkansas. Yeah, Cruising Arkansas. And all the trailers will be this spooky spooky ghosty trailer okay make the guy wave wave at you but anyway let's uh, hop in the cab let's start her up yeah let's do this Off the brake, put it in gear. Um, where are we at? Just under half a tank. That should be fine. Okay. Center. Turn on our lights. Lights on for safety.
Okay, turn right, she says. It's plenty safe. Now we found a... What is this? Freightliner dealer? Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Well, I guess we'll be sitting here for just a little bit. Okay, clear that way. Sure looks clear that way. Do that, do this. Just get out here as fast as we can. Hope we don't hit or be hit. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. And since I don't ever trust these lights, whether I stop too far back from the line and then go forward and go through the light and it says, nope, you're in the red light. Or I go too far over the stop line and, oh, you're in the red light. No, we're not doing it. Red light, we're going to do play like Europe. No free right turn. Been a little while since I drove, so I don't know how my driving skill is going to be. How many times is going to make the lane, lane doodad go off? Keep right. Okay. And then exit right. Exit right. Okay. Exit right. Yo! Whoops! Never mind. There we go. Come on. I'm going to try to do something a little different this time. Instead of driving my truck, drive different trucks. Keep right and then exit right. Okay. Exit right. Oh, okay. Oops. Looks strangely green to me, so...
we'll see how this goes. line of traffic behind me. Let's see if I can drive a... Oop. Not only a different truck, but a different type of truck for each delivery this time. I don't know whether I got it. Oops. Ah. Trying to turn the volume down and there. Uh, I don't know whether it's in all states or just states that have snow. Uh, living in Seattle during the 60s and 70s when they put down the buttons and reflectors on the double yellow there on the freeway or even in the lane dividers on the freeway uh, when we did have snow on I-5 snowplows came along come the end of the snow season <laughs> there'd be great big pile not really great big piles but there would be piles of those buttons and reflectors all over the place where they scraped them all off when I was in Colorado and this would be back in early mid 70s it was the first time I noticed it there and I think eastern Washington Eastern Washington is that way now. I don't know whether all highways are or not. To be perfectly honest, I really haven't paid attention. Uh, but I was in Colorado. They put the grooves in, and then they set the reflectors down in the grooves, so when the snowplow came along, it wouldn't tear them all up. Yeah, I know. I don't drive like a real truck, but... Go straight on. Okay. Although, 
big X's. Something else too. When I was uh, when I was in the army, I had gone out to Kansas. I was stationed in Colorado, and I went out to Kansas for a trip. And when I left Colorado, speed limit was seventy. Kansas was seventy. And the short two or three days that I was gone, came back into Colorado doing 70, and realized, no, they changed their speed limit in Colorado to 55. That was the fuel saving. Was it staying alive at 55? Figured that if you had an accident at that speed, that you wouldn't. Um, wouldn't be as seriously. Which it was to help keep the fuel consumption down and uh, make traffic accidents far worse or less worse. Than uh, uh, the higher speed limits. Had to be perfectly honest. I don't know. I don't remember how long the stay alive at 55. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. I don't remember when they stopped doing that. I was whole during the fuel crisis when I was in Colorado and most places I went from Colorado back up to Seattle Colorado had a at that time I think had like a 10 gallon oh security check huh? well, I didn't take one I think it was a 10 gallon limit. Which, when you think about it, it was only like five bucks. Five and a half dollars to put 10 gallons of gas in your car. At that time, gas had gone up to 50, 55 cents a gallon. <gasps> Ooh. It's all over. Oh. Uh. Let's see. Let's uh, look outside. It's right down there. Oh, and it's just a straight in. Okay. It just looks like it's just a straight in. Okay, do the 
G. There we are. Job completed. Excellent. Halloween trees delivered from Fort Smith to Texarkana. 195 miles. Took me 34 minutes. Used 25 gallons of fuel. And that's our 312th World of Trucks contract completed in American Truck. We got our base reward, our provision, proficiency bonus, and our trailer maneuvering bonus. We made $12,311 and 330 experience points. Well, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the trip. And if you did, remember to hit the like button, comments, suggestions, feedback. Greatly appreciated. And again, I hope you enjoyed the trip. I thank you for watching, and we will see you in our next journey.